What's going on, best friends? Um, <laughs> your best Steve Vanessa here reporting in for Vacation Vibes. So this is weird. This is not the intro that you deserved, um, but it's the one you're gonna get. I am currently walking somewhere, trying to get to the carnival celebration. I just sat in traffic. Um, it took me an hour to now get out of my Uber. I stayed in South Beach. I can see celebration right there. Um, but uh, it's been nuts. The, the traffic situation has been quite the hiccup, so I told my Uber I will happily get out and walk my luggage to the terminal, and that's what we're doing. Um, I have no idea exactly how I'm gonna get over there. There's barricades and all kinds of <laughs> we're gonna get, We're gonna do it, though. We're gonna do it. All right, let's get on this ship. Imagine a 10 minute drive turning into an hour long standstill traffic ride. That's what I exited when I hopped out my Uber. I felt really bad for the Uber and from the looks of things, many, many other people bailed out on their rides and walked too. But once I got into the terminal, things were smooth sailing. There was no line and I was surprised with a brand new carnival terminal. Okay, so update. Terminal F is pretty cool. Shout out to Carnival for getting their own terminal. Um, it took about five minutes for me to get off the street and to check in through security and out here. Turns out there's no line at check-in whatsoever. The line is just outside in the cars. Absolutely obscene and, and insane. But we made it to boarding. Let's get on the ship. And boom, surely that we made it on board. Um, a lot of people are on board already. A lot of people had priority by, um, boarding. A lot of diamond level, platinum level people. So our first stop is going to be our cabin today. So we're going to check out first impressions of the cabin, drop off the stuff, head up to the bar. Let's get it started. I need it. It's not even a want. It's a need at this point. This is crazy. <laughs> We made it, y'all. Oh my good lord. Oh, we got flowers. Cute. Team, hit the lights. That was the most insane drop off process I've ever had. I can, I cannot. I simply cannot. Our girl is here already. Um, she boarded with the. Uh, the uh, diamond crew so shout out to that she's been on the cruise for like a whole day already my first impression of the room was that I really liked it I like the square versus the traditional interior room because it just gave more space and the interior design really made the space really bright oh, we got vacation vibe shirts check that out y'all think that's cute let me know so listen here's what we got we got six days on a carnival celebration, our very first inaugural cruise. Here's what I want to do. I want to see what makes inaugural so special. I want to see what makes this ship so special. I want to meet as many of you as possible and um, hang out with the cruise vlogger friends as much as possible. There is one challenge that I'm deeming myself this week. We have 116 subscribers before we hit 11,000. And I think that we can find those 116 people while we're on board this week. So help a girl out, get somebody to subscribe today because we need to hit 11K before the end of the week. So let's get a drink. Okay, so I had a little guy's burger um, and then I, I ran around the ship looking for my roommate. I still have not seen the likes of her. Um, I haven't seen her in over a year, so I'm very excited to find her and to show you her. Um, I, she finally answered a text message after two hours and she's on her way to me. I am currently at the Latitudes Park. To be honest with you guys, this cruise is off to a shaky start for me. I am like really struggling to be excited and like my regular bubbly self right now. 
Um, it was just a lot. Like the check-in process was fine, no lines. Security was fine, no lines. I pretty much walked from the street onto the onto the ship in like five minutes. Um, it was just getting t into the port for some reason was nuts. Um, I reckon we'll find out what happened when we get back or in a couple days or whatever. Somebody will know why. It, I mean, w my Uber driver saw the people trying to go into the tunnel from the, the, the highway. It was it stopped on the highway, not even to the tunnel. Cars were at a standstill. So we went around to Bayside, got on from there, and once we got across the bridge, we just sat for 20, 25 minutes. That's when I decided to hop out the car and just walk the rest of the way. And thank God I did that because if I hadn't, I probably wouldn't be on the ship until right now, which was an hour later. Let's just, let's just nip the drama in the bud for now. And I'm gonna try to get my, my attitude together. After this drink, guys, we're gonna have a fun cruise. And um, I haven't seen anybody but Laura and Fane. Go up, up, go figure. Latitude Bar was one that we enjoyed multiple times during the ship. The drinks are from around the world, which I love. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, are you gonna applaud me while I'm vlogging you? Of course I am. <laughs> at the Melanette Sea Mixer, but on the way, I stopped at the Small Creators Mixer. So, um, let's meet some new friends, shall we? Hey, focus on the go! Hey, focus on the go! <laughs> Okay, fun fag. Sig is a little. It's a. It's a. It's a little. A She's little cute. Fun side. She's fun size. She's fun size. So it won't take much for Sig to get lit and hit to the club. So. Just like that, it's sail away time. We got it cracking with none other than YMCA down on the Lido deck. Lee was our cruise director and he was a lot of fun. And something that I had been waiting for two hours had finally happened. We found her, y'all. Okay, sail away is over. We finally sail made it. Over. <laughs> Toasted Maddie over there. <laughs> we finally made it to Latitudes. Do do we both need another drink? Okay. They have so many cocktails on this menu. So many brand new cocktails, some oldies that you love. It's like a fashion. My first drink at Latitudes was a Japanese sangria, and my goodness, it was delicious. I definitely think that you need to try this drink out when you visit this bar. And against her better judgment, Maddie ordered the strongest drink on the entire menu. The cruise has officially started. We're with Travel Spree. L's and T's kicking off, right? L's and T's are happening right now. I've got my sangria, and then we've got shots on the way. A, gig a ginormous shot. 
um, of tequila, 1800. Maddie, we're Already. All the. But we're at our new favorite bar, Latitudes. <laughs> As is tradition. As is tradition, baby. Cheers. Do you want to see me vomit? Uh, might be good for views. <laughs> Get out of here. A little delayed, but we were finally sailing away from Miami, and it felt like the cruise had started. Hi, besties. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. Today has been a cluster. Okay, it just has not gone the way that embar embarkation day should go. To be honest with you. I just been sitting at bars just drinking away my woes. I just I don't feel like I'm in the cruise mood. I feel like irritated today. I'm not like super excited. I'm like not like I'm not feeling it. And I'm and it's really disappointing because I was really excited for this cruise. So I've been trying to get my act together. Um a few things have excited me along the way, like finding Maddie. <laughs> you know, we're excited about that. Um, and I'm gonna go to Pig and Anchor for dinner. I've never done that before. I've never had dinner at Pig and Anchor. Um, Fan and Laura are on the way there to get us a table. So um, I just came to potty, grab Maddie, and head that way. So first time ever on vacation vibes, you're gonna be having dinner at Pig and Anchor. That's something to look forward to. And after that, guys, I think that that might be we might call out a vlog. On a, on a good note, we we have 10 new best friends on the channel. So, hey, best friends. Thanks for subscribing, guys. We love to have you here. Welcome to the fam. Let's go to dinner. Let's go to dinner. Maddie and I headed down to Pig and Anchor to join Travel Spree for dinner. And while I'm giving you a view of what we had to eat, I just wanted to address something. This vlog might not seem like my normal vlogs. It might seem to be a little oddly paced. And the truth is, I was really struggling this day. I was doing my best to cover my emotions, but some things had happened before I ever even got on the ship and after getting on board, which I'll reveal and let you in on as this vlog series goes in. But this was probably the most struggle day I had on board for the first few days. So Fane gave me a taste of his drink in my cup, gave me a full glass, and he also gave another full glass to Maddie. Still, still has, have. still has half. There's Maddie's like. Yeah, still got a half. Honestly, okay, the hog size it is a great deal because he paid twenty four dollars for that. This would have been ten fifty by itself. Yeah. Go ahead and get the hog size and, and feed the whole family. For real. Smoky watermelon mar margarita is really good. It's got mezcal in it. It's got tequila, watermelon lime. Um, I'm loving it. I love mezcal. Y'all know I love mezcal. I wish I liked mezcal. And it, and it comes with actual like, I don't know if you guys have seen watermelon it. chunks. It comes with actual watermelon chunks. Again. Fresh watermelon. I'm loving it. I got a seed in my mouth. Love that. Okay. After dinner, we headed over to the new and improved comedy club. All right, so we just finished up Pick and Anchor. It was all right. Um, <laughs> we're still sipping on <laughs> Fane's drink. We made it to the Punchlimer for comedy with Billy D, which Maddie wanted to see. He said he was really good, so. Billy D can throw down. So far, I love these seats. They like swivel. Prove the comedy club to where there's more seating. Honestly, I can't quite tell that there's more seating. It's, I, I like this, the, the design of this comedy club way better. It's, it's a lot more chic. So, shout out to Carnival Celebrations Comedy Club. And there are seven shows tonight. Seven shows, um, PG and R rated, plus the late night comedy that they have, the late night comedy showcase at the end of the night, 11.30. Seven comedy shows, you're not gonna miss out. Next up, you know I had to check out the club. Y'all wanna see what the club's talking about? Let's go to the club. <laughs> We're going to the club day one. Water and alcohol. There you go, that's how you go to the club. Balance. 
The club was super lit for it to be the first night. DJ Q was in the building and the vibes are real nice. <laughs> Okay, for me, I really like cone. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> for me, the night is done. Um, yeah, maybe I'll like go down to like the comedy show for like 11:30. But I think I'm done for the night. I'm tired. My eyes are burning. I'm ready to take these contacts out. I have not even so much as opened my suitcase today. So I think I might do that tonight and unpack worst like embarkation day of my life for sure uh well it's pretty bad it's pretty bad top three for the to worst for sure um it just wasn't it wasn't giving i'm just gonna i'm gonna call the vlog here guys um tomorrow i'm gonna wake up with a brand new attitude we're gonna have some fun i just think i need some rest and to like shake off this like bad energy a little bit take a shower clear it out you know so thank you good morning it is day two on the ship um our sea day for sea day um sea day brunch is happening it is 11 23 um i slept in until like 10 15 this morning um laura and i didn't get in from the club um and pizza until like 3 30 so we was we was outside last night um but today go eat one o'clock rolls around it's time to do a little workout allegedly a group of your favorite youtubers want to meet up for this workout so we shall see we shall see who shows up i'm ready for the workout i haven't like dressed in anything cute yet i've been workout bay um, so far on this cruise and that's okay um but anyway i'm gonna go to brunch um i'll see you guys there okay so i just thought this was very cute and hilarious on my way to the gym i got ran over by the dr seuss parade if you have kids you definitely have to do the whole dr seuss is on the loose thing you that you won't regret it okay you won't regret it Okay, Laura and I have made it to the gym. This is Cheryl's <laughs> session and she forgot. <laughs> but um, she's changing her clothes, she's gonna be on the way. It's Laura. All right, so I wanna share my warm up that I always do with my clients, with you guys. It's a 10 minute warm up. Um, you're gonna start somewhere between 2.2 miles per hour and 2.8, something that feels good to you. And then on your incline, you're gonna start at three. Your speed stays the same. Every two minutes, your incline goes up. So, I like that. yeah, and it just lasts 10 minutes. So at the end of the 10 minutes, you're gonna finish at a 11% incline. Wow. Yes. Okay. It's just a walk. There's no running involved. It'll get your heart rate up. It'll get you sweating before you work out. You'll feel so accomplished after the work after the warm up. I'm already sweating um, from coming up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're halfway through the warm-up. I just want to say the ship is like really rocking today and it's like the craziest feeling <laughs> on the treadmill. It makes it, the incline feel like it's doing like this. So I feel like I'm walking on a wave. You gotta pay attention, keep your eyes open or you're gonna be on the flow. Okay, warm-up's done. How does that feel? I have a lot of sweat on my body right now. <laughs> oh, we got Addy. Addie's in the house. Yes. We're doing a, a quick version to catch up. She's yes. got probably like 30 seconds left. At the request of Cheryl, aka Sig Cruiser, we got some friends together for a full body workout. Now, Cheryl wanted them to go heavy on the weights, and I think we delivered. Heavy? Uh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Ladies are crushing it. Laura's killed the workout already. This is so fun. This is what dreams are made of. Okay, we are underway with our sea day. Um, came up here to get my Melanin at Sea t-shirt. Uh, we're gonna be doing another meetup upstairs, take a little picture, get the people upset again. 
there's not over 200 of us I don't think on this cruise so <laughs> it'll be okay um, also doing the ropes course if it's not too windy and it's open um, yeah let's go let's get upstairs honestly guys there is nothing better than a day at sea up on the leader deck taking in the endless water and the big sky views is always my favorite I headed up to the ropes course to see if the zip line was open and unfortunately it was too windy to do the zip line so I had to come back for that. Next up though, rapid food review. Okay, you guys know that I love Guy's Burgers on the Carnival Fleet and I'm also very critical of their french fries. We went through a phase where they stopped being hand cut and they became crinkle fries and frozen fries and I did not like that. So I'm happy to report back and let you guys know that the fries are way better. They're seasoned, they are closer to what I remember. Not sure if they're hand cut, but they're great. And the burger wasn't so bad either. I came here like three or four times. Right after Guy Burger, I headed up to Deck 17 to meet up with the Mountain at Sea crew for another picture. We didn't quite take over the entire Lido, but it was nice to see everybody. And there's always questions. One nice lady said, are you guys a family? I said, no, we're a Facebook group. <laughs> and just like that, time to turn up. It's a flip cup competition. I'm really nervous. <laughs> I haven't done this in college. No, I don't. I'm really, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to film. I need all six of you behind your cups. Somehow, we have landed ourselves at the flip cup. Yeah. I'm gonna try not to let the team down. All right. Oh, Three, two, one, go. Oh, they're chugging. They're chugging away. He's spilling it all down himself. Come on, man. You gotta try this one next time we're going. Oh, you gotta flip, you gotta flip, give it a big flip. I tried the other way, she got a bigger lid. Come on, it's just water here. Softer, softer lid. There you go, there's one going. There you go. There's one, they're getting on. Man, they're all spinning on this right now. So if you've been following along with the story here, this is where things took a turn. Shortly after that last clip, Maddie made an excuse to not show up to dinner and I was on my own. This was a turning point for my entire cruise. We went from cruising as friends to cruising solo. But that was okay because I still had dinner with Fane and Laura as well as Cheryl and we had a lot of fun. Too much, actually. So we are having a YouTube family dinner tonight at Chibang, um, a crowd favorite, one of my favorite restaurants. Um, the food here is great. I always say the appetizers are better than the entrees, so I'm going appetizer heavy tonight. And it's um, formal night, so you can actually get the lobster tail here and at Cucina if you wanted to go ahead and get your lobster, as well as enjoy one of the other specialty restaurants. Let me show you who I'm here with. We got Sig Freezer, aka Cheryl and We got Laura. And we got Blue John. Yes, Blue John. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Your special drink. Lichi Martini. That's for me. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Chicken Margarita. Right here. The famous one. Woohoo! Thank you. Yeah. You are welcome. Enjoy it. Lovely. Um, I went ahead and brought my wine from the room. And the butt yeah. Delicioso. Oh, hell yeah. That's so good. Is that an F me 
Yes. <laughs> so no surprise here. I got the chicken egg roll or chicken spring rolls. Fan favorite. I got the lettuce wraps, which are so good and refreshing and light. And then I paired it with a soup, which is the sofa that's gonna be on the Mexican uh, menu. These are my three picks for Chibang. If you want to know what to get for the appetizer, I pick all three of these. There's other great things, but when it comes down to it, I have to choose three. These are my top three at Chibang. Let me give it a taste and make sure it's just as good as I remember them to be. Don't forget guys, on formal night, you don't have to go to the main dining room. You can go to Puccina or Chibang for the lobster as well. This is a cheat code. Uh oh. Um, as is tradition. As is tradition. Gotta, gotta tap it. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's go. Thank you. All right, round two. Welcome to dinner at Travel with Travel yes. <laughs> Where it's just a liquid diet. Being an OG and being so supportive yes. for everyone. Yes. Nice to see us. Yes. It's not the best. This is, I don't want to chug this. That is a, it is a green tea shot. Green tea shot. You probably have more. Yeah. Yeah, those are the Okay. Do it and freeze. Yeah, it's hard one I like gluten, so. Yeah. the bloopers. I even didn't even get some here. I was like, I was like, I was like, I made it to my favorite shot. Yes, it's center enough for me. I am gonna count you down. Three, two, one, and then you have to show this audience the most passionate display possible. And this is an audience vote, so you gotta wow the crowd. Three, two, one, passion, 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 passion. Listen, you two. If you were that stop it! Listen, if you are that hungry, there is a buffet upstairs, okay? And you two, I'm not sure this you struck a pose that I've never seen. One day I'll recreate that myself. That's inspiration right there. I, was it this couple here? Or was it this couple here? Okay team, so we made it back from Love and Marriage, um, always fun. I just found myself falling asleep in the theater tonight. It is late, it's past like 10.30 now, I am so tired. So we're going to get out of the dress even though it's so cute, y'all like this dress? Hey, look at that, I'm, I'm digging the vibes over here, yes, yes, this is vacation vibes if vacation vibes was a dress honey i did come to a cute little surprise though in a cabin we got some fruit from um the hotel director pierre thank you pierre some nice fruits and then we also got chocolate covered strawberries so i'm gonna dig in these look really good sometimes to be honest like the chocolate covered strawberries from carnival be looking really crazy these are so cute and pretty so Okay, 
fruit yay i'm excited <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here guys thanks so much for watching day two we rallied a little bit we kind of brought it back around um tomorrow we land in grand turk and i think um me and the vlog squad we have some fun stuff coming up for you and i'm looking forward to um a, a genuine beach day so um stay tuned for that i'm very excited to see what happens tomorrow all right, team, we finally made it off the ship. Back to Grand Turk. We have a fun day with Travels Brew once again. We're gonna check out some spots that are traditional here for people to stop at in Grand Turk, um, like Jack Shack. I believe it or not, I've been here so many times, never been to Jack Shack, so I'm gonna try it out for you guys and let you know what I think, whether it's good and worth your stop and your money. So um, let's get it. St. <laughs> Laura's in back. Let's go park. Welcome back to Grand Turk, guys. We are in for quite the day today. But first, we walk down the beach over to Jack Shack. Jack Shack is a cute little bar and grill where you can find some of Grand Turk's best food and drinks for cheaper than Margaritaville. They also have a cute little shop that I'll admit is a little dated and the beachfront is beautiful too. My YouTube family, happy Friendsgiving! Happy Friendsgiving. <laughs> just keep swimming, just keep swimming! Yeah. Happy Friendsgiving! Yes! Cruise edition! Happy Friendsgiving! Happy Friendsgiving! Happy Friendsgiving. Happy Friendsgiving. Happy Friendsgiving. Yay! Happy birthday! Sig versus Spain Cock cocktail contest. It's a cocktail contest. It's a cocktail contest. Freudian slip. <laughs> Freudian slip. Oh my god. I need a cocktail. Oh, the line has been drawn uh -oh. in the sand. Alright, ready! Set! Go! Let's go, Spain! Oh! Uh oh, drunk cartwheel. Lord. Get in there! He's catching up! Yeah. Hey! Post race interview, how do you what? feel about oh, this? I feel great. I feel great. Uh, I mean, I knew I had an enemy. It was in the depth of my soul. But I felt it coming up. And through the grace of God, I finished. Post race interview. I thought I had him in the first I thought I had her in the first quarter, but she put on the afterburners. She got me. No. Baby Shay on the on the wheels. Let's do it. Sexy, but here's my hack for Grand Turk. Bring water shoes because the beach is very rocky. There's a lot of reef in there. Um, you will cut your feet up. So bring the, the water shoes ex suspicious, suspiciously. Especially, as, oh lord. I've had one drink and I've already, and I broke my shoe. I can't get my shoe on and I don't know how to say specifically. <laughs> what is all happening? Bring your water shoe specifically for Grand Turk, okay? That's what I was trying to say. Bye. Is it? Go chicken over here. You gotta try a piece. You have, Vanessa, you have to try a piece. How is it, Laura? Laura? Laura. It's Laura now. It's a little spicy. We might have to take it up, but the conch here is really good. I was telling Fane that I always save my conch um, expense for Grand Turk. So good. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna try the jerk chicken with the sauce. Mm. 
Like, Sweden girls just wine for me. Bubble up your whiskers, just grind on me. I love all your taking your time with me. That's good, y'all. Go ahead and come over to Jack Shack. That's really good. Front quarter Joe Chicken, your day's gonna be made. Definitely worth paying for a meal while you're off the ship. Unfortunately, our day in Grand Turk was coming to an end and it was time to head back to the ship. We took a shortcut this time and took a taxi. Do recommend. Anyway, never mind. Yeah, I remember seeing those. What are you going to do with it? Put it in my mashed potatoes. <laughs> grind it hey, up. That's good for grilling. Good for grill. Oh, we're going to put it on some steak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my bad. Take back it. to the ship now. Faye made a great point. If you're ever looking for the Turks and Caicos Starbucks, do not walk far. I'm gonna show you. This is where you walk through to get into the port. That's the Starbucks. <laughs> do not get a taxi to find the Starbucks. It's right there. It's a very unique Starbucks. It's a pink Starbucks. So I thought it was some crazy place downtown. The, the or hidden exotic Starbucks. Exactly. Like the special place. Like the, to the your pro left. <laughs> is it like the Prada store that's in the middle of the desert or the Gucci oh, store? Oh, yeah. I thought it was like one of those. No. But it's literally just right there. It's right there. Um, a round of these beers that are brewed right here yes, in Caicos. Thank you. Um, at North Caicos. So we need to smash these before dramatic zoom out. Before we get on the cruise. So cheers. Let's go cheers. fair. Cheers. I usually just do the tap of the neck. Oh, oh right, classic. Sorry. Okay. See, Vanessa gonna show off. I've been tra travel squatified. <laughs> wow. Check me out. Yeah, see? Super customizable to fit my head. That was great. I can like tip them up and down. That's cool. Shout out to Pit Viper. You want to be a peer runner today? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's do it. I got my Crocs on. I can't put them in, oh, look, I can't look, put them look, in look, sports look. mode, though. I'm in sports mode. Put them in sports mode. <laughs> let's go. Ready? Hey, guys. These sport are the, mode. <laughs> these are the top 10 tips of how to be a peer runner. Yes. Put your Crocs in sports mode. Crocs in sport mode. <laughs> biggest rule for for sports heroes. Be aerodynamic. It's to be aerodynamic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Not gonna lie to you. A tad bit toasted. And we're meeting at a bar of all places. So I think Laura and Fina are already there. I'm gonna meet them at the Golden Jubilee Bar. We haven't showed you that yet, so um, it is very, very close to the Brass Magnolia. It's where the Brass Magnolia was on Mardi Gras if you've been on that ship before. So that is our next stop. We'll see what the signature drink is there. Try that for you guys. I'm real close to being like at the finish line. It's the, the rest of the night's about to be drunk cam for y'all. But uh, Grand Trip was wonderful. We had a great time at Jack Shack. I, I can't believe I've never been there before, but it's always the first time for everything. Um, we got two more floors, two more floors to go before we get to <laughs> deck six. We're on deck eight right now. For you guys watching at home, I'm on deck 12. The extra noise is uh, children running down the stairs. Um, I'm just gonna say this. We never have that kind of interruption on Virgin because there's never any kids running down the stairs. Anyway. After all, JC is aboard. Shout out to that. We love JC Coakley. I'm definitely going to her class. I can't wait to see her. I'm at her class. Where am I? We're going to her show. I need a nap. Welcome to the Golden Jubilee. This swanky turn of the century style bar is where you can get your upscale drinks. The Golden Jubilee takes you back to the era of the ocean liner, which is the predecessor to the cruise ship. So it's a nice place to get fancy and get your Titanic on while getting a drink. N not that part of the Titanic, but like the good part, the fun part, the fancy part. The bartenders here are not just bartenders, but mixologists who will put on a show for some of your favorite classics. And the brim. I got a Cosmopolitan while we're here, and it was divine. Yes! 
I got tiny hands. So why? <laughs> Okay, so Laura and I are headed to the really cool Big Top show. So Fane's got us seats already. And then I scored a spot and teppanyaki with the travel squad. I'm getting fully Spotify today. Yay! I'm so excited. Have you guys seen teppanyaki for travel yet? We did it on the Melanin at Sea in Okay. July. All right, cool. So we get to do it together. It's so good. It is so good. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm definitely getting the filet mignon. Oh, yes. Again. I heard that this carnival show, I heard that it's really cool. So I'm very excited to try it out um, or see what it's like. And I'm going to give you guys some snippets and um, I'll let you know after the show if it's worth you finding a seat for. So we are sitting here waiting for the Big Top Show still. Just so you know, we got here an hour early to secure our spots. We're on deck seven in the stadium seating. Um, it's a good seating. Uh, I was told that she'd want to be in deck seven or eight because there's a lot of aerial um, perform performances in the show. So it's a better seat to get a little bit up higher and you don't have to fight people for the floor seats. They don't open those until um, a little bit right before the show so they just were opened uh, just a few minutes ago so if you don't want to wait for seating if you want to go ahead and secure your seat you have time to kill as you can see i can't see anything on this side of the stage but i can see a center stage on over and then all aerial stuff Okay, so here's my review on The Big Top. This was a very interesting show to watch, but in comparison to some of the other stunt shows that I've seen on other cruise lines, this one is more for the kids. While the aerialists did a fantastic job, some of the music just seemed a little juvenile and it could have been a little bit more edgy. If you're into this, definitely go save your seat, but I wouldn't wait for an hour. And I agree that the higher up seats are probably better than the ones on the floor. So Laura and I need a little pick me up before dinner. Um, since our dinner is so late tonight, not till 9 o'clock. So we stopped at bar 820 to get some Martini Express. It's my first Martini Express on Shops Asia. I know this is like one of her new faves. I'm gonna try one. Cheers to staying awake. <laughs> Oh, it just tastes just like a martini. That doesn't sound very like good. You're like, oh. No, no, you're Oh. I was expecting more like alcohol forward, but it just tastes like coffee. That's, yeah. I mean, that's a good this thing. This one is less sweet than other ones I've had, but I like it because it doesn't taste like alcohol. It just tastes like. It just tastes like sugar and coffee. Like you could put a little sweet and low in it, and it would just taste like a cup coffee. Of coffee. Yeah. Hey, hey shout out back. Keep the coffee. Ready? That martini gave us the boost that we needed to go over to dinner at Banzai. It was great as usual. On fire. This grill is on fire. Rolling on my feet. There are so many choices at Banzai Teppanyaki. It is my favorite hibachi at sea to date and I will recommend it again and again. Let me just take a moment to say thank you to you for being a subscriber, but most importantly, my channel members, AKA my best friend squad. Guys, without you, none of this would be possible. And I appreciate you guys so, so much. Shout out to the best friends. matcha green tea ice cream and the pomegranate juice is pretty good. Yeah.
I saw the chef chewing, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, what we're missing is the uh, little chocolate uh, candy here. All right, so once we finish here with our desserts, we are going to do a little change, get into something comfortable, and then we're gonna go to Family Feud after dark. So, I haven't seen the show since I did Mardi Gras last year, um, and I miss all the other Family Feud shows, so I definitely wanna go see the after dark show. Very excited about that, because they ask the questions that they can't ask when the kids are there. Shout out to my chill outfit. We love a hoodie, love a boyfriend hoodie. We love some little shorts. Um, we got the slides on. My favorite socks ever. My Soul Cycle socks. They are so comfy. They are made by Bombas. Bombas socks, yes. Anyway, though, we're going to Family Feud. <laughs> Let's go. Family Feud aboard Carnival is just like it is on the TV. So much fun, except for you get to participate with your family. Go to the auditions and work your way through the rounds to make it to the big show. This is definitely worth staying up late to watch. This is where we ended the night. After this, there is no more footage. I'm sure I hit the hay super hard to prepare for tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, let's see what we have coming up next. Good morning, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Turkey Day. Um, today is Friendsgiving. We'll be spending an entire day with all of our YouTube friends. So I'm very excited for that. Right now, we are headed to our bestest best friends travel spree as we're going to go crash their lives. So um, let's head down and crash a life. They're on live right now. I met up with Travel Spree while they were doing their morning live at Emerald's Bistro 1397. Guys, this is the spot to go to for breakfast. This ex Benedict will change your entire life. Trust me there. The proper, the proper amount of orange you pour into your mimosa. Even that's too much. Oh but my god. Go. Um, so the breakfast at Emeralds was really good. Um, I didn't want to say anything while I was there because Travel Spree was on their live at the moment. But I don't even like runny eggs. But I tore that thing up. It was good. 10 out of 10 do recommend. It was $6 plus, you know, tax, gratuity, whatever. $7.08 I think. Delicious. Great, great breakfast. So if you want to try out something different for breakfast, which um, if you... If you cruise Carnival a lot, the breakfast options can get a little tired, in my opinion. Um, and if you don't want to go to Big Chicken for breakfast, um, then go over to Emeralds. Delicious. I got shrimp and grits. I got all kinds of stuff. So, do recommend. I haven't worn this suit this year yet. Um, I wore this on my very first cruise back. I just think it's cute. Yeah. All right, this is what we're wearing to Amber Cove today. Let's go see some old friends, shall we? <laughs> okay, friends, it's just you and me. We are headed downtown here in Amber Cove. It's a place I've never been yet. Um, we've done the port area so many times. We went to the beach last time we were here um, with Melon at Sea. But I want to turn to the downtown and see what's going on down there. So we have about four and a half hours left here in port. Kind of took my time getting off the ship today. And I think there's plenty of time to go explore downtown. And maybe we'll see an old friend. All right, so let me tell you why Amber Cove is trifling. And we just got cool, me and Amber Cove. We just got cool the first time I came here. I wasn't feeling it. Over the over time though, we've been good. It's my fifth time here. I went to go get a taxi to go into the city by myself. He told me $50. $50. I said $50. I was like, um, do I need to, like is it because it's just me? He's like, oh, well if you go with a group of people, then it's $70. I said, oh, okay. 
I walked away. And then I talked to Demetra, who I um, hopefully will see before we get on back on board. If you don't remember her, she's who I went to Mr. Sancho's with in my solo cruise um, series. She and her family, they tried to charge her $130 for three of them. Make that make sense, to go to the same place. So, we're not going downtown. I'm not paying 50 or $70 to go downtown. So, we're in the port. I'm pissed because I really want to do something different. I want to show you guys something different, but I'm just, I'm not with the price gouging, that's ridiculous. Maybe I'll try something different here, I don't know. But, I'm not happy, very much not happy. We'll see what happens. All right, this is our next destination. I'd recommend maybe coming up here before you get too drunk. You do got quite a bit of stairs to the top, so you might want to be not driving drunk to get up here, you know what I'm saying? The views from halfway up. The Sky Bar is such a beautiful hidden gem in Amber Cove. Out of all the times I've been there, I have never been up to appreciate the views that this spot offers. The bar's not bad either, so grab a drink, sit back, feel the breeze, and enjoy the views. Okay, y'all, I promise you guys two things, that I was going to continue to press my fear of heights, and I was going to try something new in Amber Cove, so sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> you hear what she said? What's she saying? She said, how I feel. I said, I got a pee. <laughs> so I got a pee a little bit. How you feel, Vanessa? Oh, I, I got a pee. I still, I still got a pee. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Y'all know how I feel about these heights and things. And how much did you pay for this? $20. Unlimited. Yeah, so I can do this as many times as I want. Once. Okay. So how did you get back? What? Oh, good question. Oh, I got. I think I got to walk back up. <laughs> oh, they don't tell you yeah, that. Yeah, I got zip line back. They don't pull you back in, do they? So what's holding you up? This is this is holding me up. It's holding my life together, holding all the vibes. Look at this. Nobody was doing that. Nobody was doing that in the first place. Thank you. Hey okay, guys, we have moved closer into the line. I'm like three three back. I'm on deck or whatever. In the hole, I don't know. I'm nervous. Bye, best friends. Bye, best friends. It's been nice knowing you. Oh, wow. Vacation vibes out. No, I'm just kidding. I'll see you down there. I'll see you down there. <sighs> Have my sunglasses on now because it's sunny. Because I gotta hide my tears. This is our second time. Your second time? Yeah. Oh, wow. Any final words? It's very fun. The, the end is very scary. I can't lie. It's coming a little hot. Not racing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, Lord. Hi. He, he said, get up here, girl. Okay. Okay. I'll race you. I don't know how I'm gonna decide how I'm faster, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Was so ready to go. Coming back and out. How was coming in? It was real hot, wasn't it? It was. It was. 
I didn't know when we was done, so it scared me a little bit, but. Yeah, no, it won't slow down again. I was a little intimidated, I can't lie. Yes, it just, it said, we're done, I'm like, okay. <laughs> Did okay. you have fun? I had lots of fun. All right, so I can't lie. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad I did it. Um, now I can do it unlimited um, all day if I want to. So I challenge you guys to do the zip line when you come to Amber Cove. Maybe have a strawberry jeffrey first. <laughs> all right, so this time I'm gonna give you the perspective of you're riding on the zip line. So you'll hear me scream in the background. I don't know I'm here, but I want you to see the view yourself. Honestly, ziplining was so much fun and I am very glad that I have stuck to my commitment to pushing myself beyond my own personal boundaries. Oh, hey baby! Oh my god! I've never really seen a kit. After such high adrenaline, it was time to just relax before we headed back on the ship. As everybody else was doing a little bit of souvenir shopping, I ran into my girl, Demetra. If you guys don't remember her, she went with me to Mr. Sancho's in Cozumel during my solo cruise. Um, if you missed that vlog, it's linked right here. Go watch that. I love Amber Cove for the simplistic beauty of this island. The Dominican Republic is top ranked in my favorite places. Even though this was Thanksgiving and I was solo for most of the day, I was very thankful to be able to afford the opportunity to be here and be around such bright and shiny, happy people during this holiday. back to Friendsgiving. So we're meeting up with the other YouTubers at the festival restaurant, which is the big one in the back of the ship. And um, we're gonna have a nice family dinner. I'm very excited. We had a time trying to get the table for 14 people, but we did it. Oh, look at Uncle Fane. Look at his pants. I was gonna wear the same thing, man. I'm glad I didn't, you know. I'm so excited. Anyway though, we had a time, but we are seated. Um, we have three tables um, with everybody who's in our group. It's uh, me, Travel Spree, Parker's on the go. I got Shay next to me. Um, we have the Fab Your Life, Shay's parents, Google and Rob, and then Endless Cruises all at dinner with us tonight. Um, just if you got a big group, just have some patience. That's all. So I was. I was underestimating the chicken, the chicken wings. I thought they were too good. Look a little good. They look, they look kind of good. I'm not mad. Look a little, little close up there. Wow. Extreme zoom. Zoom. <laughs> wow. Look at the braids. Unfortunately, I think the wings were the best part of the meal. My actual Thanksgiving dinner sucked. I did not like it. It was dry. It was bland. That weird suspect roll of meat up there. That's a stuffed turkey apparently, and it's nasty. The desserts were the best part of this whole meal. You're gonna catch some flies in that bag. <laughs> Lusting after Laura. It's actually dessert. so good. It looks really nice. Well, honey, we popping cherries tonight, so be listening, okay? Very careful, because you got some experienced cruisers in here, right? <laughs> so you know the tips of the house. Table talk down to a what? <laughs> Energy and laughter to a. No video of flash photography unless you're videoing me, honey. And if you're easily offended or sensitive to humor, there's a door here and there's a door there. You may exit at any time. If you got it, say got it. Got it. It's time for the adult game show. <laughs> Uh, 
this could possibly be the worst cruise I have done all year. If I'm being honest, I chose to eat here for lunch because I love mozzarella sticks. And so I had to come try them and see if they're any good. See if they compare to the ones at Coco Cay. Anytime you get a mozzarella stick on a ship, you're in a good place. Okay, so let's get into why the lost footage is the lost footage. On this day, I was supposed to start off my morning with my roommate slash friend and, you know, go to brunch with her. And yet again, I got ditched for a certain boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, whatever. I tried to keep my spirits up and just continue vlogging, but as the day wore on, my mood just soured back in a room and we are hitting the hot tub and serenity um bathing suit sponsored by olivia shout out to your girl okay i'm gonna show you the whole thing upstairs um let's go let's go meet maddie i tried one last time to spend some time with her she told me she was gonna be in the hot tub so i ran to the room grabbed my swimsuit and joined her i sat right next to her in a hot tub and she promptly got up and moved to the other side with her little boyfriend and that was about the last draw for me i ended up leaving and decided to find some real friends all right guys so if you know sid cruz you know that she is introverted quiet likes to hide in the cut but today i have a challenge for her have you guys seen sid cruiser anywhere no no i don't have know you I don't know, she's pretty short, so it's hard to see. Oh! You want sick? No, no! There she is! Oh! Sick oh. Cruiser, aka Cheryl. I have a challenge. A challenge? A challenge? Challenge! challenge. I challenge you, hold on. <laughs> I challenge you oh. to the ropes course. Uh. So the ropes course? <laughs> the ropes course. The ropes course. Yes. Come on! Oh! <laughs> Are you ready, Cheryl? Name written all over it. That's it, line right there. <laughs> I, I said I was gonna do it, so let's get, let's get it over with. All right, here's us getting it over with. It is so beautiful up here, though. Wow, it's uh, a little bit after four o'clock. Sun is coming down from the sky. No better time to do uh, the works course at the very top deck on a carnival celebration. Cheryl, aka Sig Cruiser, was a good sport. We actually did complete the entire ropes course. Unfortunately, my GoPro was not working and it just got like the first 30 seconds of a ropes course and didn't record anything else. So I ended up going the next day to try to get some footage of the ropes course and Sig couldn't join me a second time. But guys, she did so good. Um, that just means we have to do it again. Uh, so I'll see you on the icon, Sig, <laughs> for that zipline. After the ropes course, Sig and I went back to the room to get dressed for dinner. This is the second formal night, and here is my outfit. We enjoyed dinner at Chi Bang once again, you know, my favorite restaurant. And after dinner, there was a little party. Carnival has this new show called Evolution, and it was a blast. Here are some clips from that.
evolution we headed over to the club and i just wanted to know when did carnival become virgin because that party was um kind of familiar if you will and this is the end of night five <laughs> Welcome back guys to beautiful Nassau Bahamas. Quite honestly, there's not too much new to show you here, right? Um, but just gonna have a cool day here and um, enjoy the pretty blue water. May or may not go to the beach, we'll see. Um, the Disney Wish is right next door. That's pretty cool. Got a cool little boat happening down there. So hopefully we'll have a good day today and have some fun and yeah. This cruise series that hasn't quite gone the way that I had planned it to go. We talked about that. Um, but um, I believe that everything happens for a reason and you just have to make the best out of things. So if you ever have a vacation that's not going quite as planned um, and you might be feeling a little disappointed um, with things here and there, just keep, keep looking for the fun. Just keep looking for the fun It'll find you and um, let everything else go. So I have to admit, I didn't really have super solid plans for Nassau. So I just took to the streets to find some pretty things to take pictures and videos of and spend some alone time. Nassau has some of the prettiest waters, so I wanted to make sure to spend time just enjoying that while I was here. During this time, however, things started to get a little weird. Welcome back to Vacation Vibes. Here are some safety tips for walking around NASA by yourself. Don't, because you'll just constantly be harassed by people. I don't know if you just um, maybe carry a switchblade or something with you and carry it in your hand where people can see it and they'll get the point really quickly that you don't want to be bothered. Please don't do what I did today in NASA. It's not smart. I also think constant vlogging is kind of a deterrent for people because they don't want to be on camera, um, especially if they're trying to, you know, be facetious. Don't explore by yourself. It's not safe. Um, always be around somebody you know. If you're by yourself, you're solo traveling, um, make sure you, you're with people you recognize from your ship. So you don't have to arrive together, but once you get to the beach, kind of look around, scan. Chances are you'll find somebody from your ship. I'm by myself, let somebody know, just to keep an eye out for you, those kinds of things. But my number one tip for when you get off your ship um, in a new country by yourself is to do so by way of excursion. That way you're already with people, um, you're with the people from your ship, with the people, the officials who are running the excursion. That'll be the safest option for you. Oh, see, see this man following behind me? I told him not to follow me. He said he's following my, for my protection. I let him know I don't need protection. And I kept moving. And people will continue to follow and be weird. We'll just let this be an experiment so you don't have to do it. Your girl vacation vibes got your back. And uh, I think that might be, I've been so dark this entire time. I think another reason why I feel like okay walking around by myself is because <laughs> you guys are out here and people just will say, hey, vacation vibes, hey Vanessa. Um, so, you know, I probably wouldn't do this too far from the port either. So that's another thing. Um, Comments berating me for doing this. Incoming. Let your comments fly. Is Homeboy still following me, guys? I don't know. I think he's giving up. I'm, I'm near Margaretville Resort. A little less heckling over here. So, tips for my ladies anytime you're traveling alone, whether it's in a different country or your own city, keep your eyeballs open. Always be looking around you. Take inventory of every single car that passes you. Keep your phone in your hand. If you happen to see the same car twice, like as if it's circling the block or something, 
take a picture of the uh, license plate, send it to a friend. Um, also turn on your, your uh, location, send that to your friends if you feel like you need a little extra protection in case something happens, God forbid. Let people know up front that you do not wish to talk to them. As I told the guy that was following me, I stopped walking and I said, are you following me? He said, no, I'm just walking after you. I said, don't do that. And I kept walking. I think when you let people know up front that you don't fear them and you see what they're doing, they're more likely to stop. Um, and it just keeps you safe. Keep your head on the swivel. Notice every single thing around you. We are like born detectives. Be a detective. <laughs> It'll save your life. As I make my way closer back to the port, another tip, and this one should kind of go without saying, don't accept any free tours. Um, I don't care how many times they call you pretty. The tour is not free. You're gonna pay for it somehow, so say no. Or, for that matter, any deals that, are, that sound too good to be true, say no. As I'm sure you guys are relieved to hear, I did have some time with my YouTube friends, so I'm headed down this alley to find the bearded clam so that we can spend some quality time together. Thank you. Vanessa's over here double fisted. Gotta go out with a bang. Cheers. At the Bearded Clam, you can find so many great drink deals. Two for ones, which is what we have here with Bahama Mamas, and 10 shots for $20. Yum! Wow. You know that we took full advantage. I'm not going to tell anybody, but What is this? Woo-woo shots. It's a woo-woo! Oh! And that concludes our day in Nassau. Um, just a quick day here, heading back to the ship. We're gonna do the ropes course before we uh, get ready for dinner. So we need to hurry up. We have like about an hour before they close that. Um, I have to do it again, um, even though I did it with Sig and it was amazing. We'll have to do a story time about her, her time on the ropes course, but she can't join me this time. So I'm gonna go again. Um, I'm gonna do it again so you guys can see what the rope course is like and uh, yeah. Let's go. Welcome back. Hi. Awesome. You're gonna hold all the way down here. Okay. All you have to do is just walk off the platform. When you get to the landing platform, stand up and keep on walking. Okay. I'll let you know when you can go. Have fun, fly safe. Right. Thanks. Woo! Oh, that like gets more fun every single time. All right. I don't like this beam. There's no like cross beam, so it's like real bouncy. We did it, okay. 
Let's take a look at these beautiful ships while we're here. Atlanta's in the background. Look at this view. Wow. Beautiful view. Vacation vibes wear. I started off this channel super afraid of heights and now I'm just mildly afraid of heights. We're still afraid though for shizzle. Okay, now we're gonna brave the plank. Here we go guys. Walking the plank. Oh shoot. Oh yeah, this this is definitely okay. It's not so bad because we're not over water, but for some reason, actually that's okay. Now that I'm talking, that's actually worse. I don't like it. We're going back. Okay. Alright. Okay. That's enough for me. Alright. <laughs> After ropes, I sat down to have one last sky burger and enjoy one last sunset at sea. You can't beat views like this. So we're back in the cabin. Here's the game plan. It is a little bit after six. I'm gonna spend about 30 minutes packing, take a shower, seven o'clock, we're on the loose. We're out for the night. Um, I'm gonna meet up with Sig. We're gonna have cigars tonight. I don't know. We on the loose though. Maybe I'll get sushi. Do I want sushi? I don't know. I guess you're gonna have to keep watching to find out how we close things out on a celebration. Hey, hey, hey. We're just saying our final midnight goodbyes, right? Yes, final yes. midnight goodbyes. You just yes. run into people randomly, yes. everywhere. Yes. <laughs> and we're like, oh my god, I gotta get see you. What's the next cruise? What's the next cruise? Okay, I can't might do it. I don't know, I'm gonna check out the prices. You know, oh, call me, text me, damn me. Oh my god, I wanna miss you. Be good, be safe. You know, you gotta do that. Okay, <laughs> cruiser. Yes. Nice meeting you. Oh my god, I gotta miss you. DMA, text me. I'll do everything you want, girl. Hi. My favorite. You are out here. It is almost midnight. I have allergies. You have allergies? Me too, girl. Get in there. We got Jennifer in the club. Okay, we're closing out the vlog here. I've got my final drink of the night from the Alchemy Bar. Um, this was supposed to be my cash in for my free drink once you are goal level in Carnival. Don't forget, you get a free drink on the last night. Um, but yeah, so here's the deal. This has been the worst cruise I've ever been on. I've been on 11 cruises now, and this one it makes number one for the worst. Um, I really try to just kind of push things down during this vlog series and not let them show. Um, nothing really came went to plan. I lost a whole friend in this whole process of just trying to have a good time. And um, unfortunately, like that these things just happen. Sometimes these things happen on vacation. And there's like nothing you can do about it. You can all you can do is continue just to look for the positive and to, you know, you know, just stay grateful for the things that you can. I'm grateful for the friends that I've met on YouTube because had they not been here, um, I don't know what this cruise would have looked like for me. Um, a special shout out to Travel Spree, Lauren Fane. Those are my 
newest besties, like for real besties. They were so sweet and they just, they let me um, detour my plans um, over to them and spend time with them. Appreciate um, Cheryl, Sig Cruiser um, for spending time with me. This cruise, um, our relationship has grown so much over the last few months and I appreciate that so much. And everybody else who I kind of just <laughs> jumped in on your plans, your dinner plans, all of that. I was not planning on a solo cruise um, this, this time around and that's what ended up happening. You know, um, I, I know this has happened to people plenty of times before. You go on vacation with your friends, so your friend, your significant other, and sometimes you break up, sometimes someone does something dumb or whatever, and you end up having a completely different vacation than what you originally started with. So um, I just want to thank you guys for sticking it out through this series. I know it was a little weird, but one thing I, I've been so distracted and I haven't done was a room tour. So... We're going to end this thing off with a chaotic rapid fire room tour <laughs> of my square cabin. <laughs> um, I love this cabin, so so let's get it. All right, rapid fire room tour from the room on the last night, and I'm lit. Let's get it. Square room, bed, bed, cool light, starfish, mirror, stupid chair that I hate, shelves, shelves, TV, waters. Lots of plugs. USB, plug, USB, light, more lights, ambiance, better lights. Oh, we're back. Refrigerator, glass door. It's cold. It's cool, not cold. Drawer, drawer, drawer. Closet space. Closet one, closet two, closet three. <laughs> snoozing or we cruising? One of the two. We're snoozing or we okay. Anyway. Bathroom tour! Toilet. Towels. Ma makeup mirror. Big mirror. Shelves. Shelves. Toilet paper. Tissue. More storage. More, even more storage. And even more storage! Watch this. Cool door. Ooh. Let's try that again. Ooh. Nothing in the way. Line for your bikinis. Shower head. Can come off. Thing for your soap, shower gel, shampoo. Thing for your foot, hey! Plenty of room for activities. Not so much room for activities. Plug for your, for your hair dryer. Hair dryer! And that's your square interior cabin. Beep. And that's it. Vacations vibe, we did it. We hit 11K today, last day of the cruise. We didn't even have to get back to Miami yet and you guys did it for me. Thank you so much. I love you. Don't forget to become a member of this channel. You'll get some behind the scenes. You're gonna get um, the full story of what happened um, with uh, Maddie and I and everything. Um, I'm just feeling like, why not? Let's spill the full tea. So you gotta be a member to get that full story. Let's see what else we got going on for vacation vibes. Bye.